you got a 360 camera, this is a pretty cool mechanism for holding it up. Right. You can launch with it. Okay. Um, usually if I'm going to launch with it, I'll launch with it set up right here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So it's out of the way. All right. Once you're up, you can open this thing up. You don't have to sit on your yeah. stick. Oh, so, okay. So it extends. Yeah, this one extends. You can extend it out all the way. And, Dang, uh, man. <laughs> yeah, you get a really cool shot when you're like this. I mean, <laughs> you impress the ladies. Right, right. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. I will chase the night. Race all of these broken dreams in flight. I will fly. Hey Will, this is Mark McElroy with Paralife PPG here with my dog Abby. And my tip would be to come out to a fly-in. You'll meet a lot of people in the community, see all different kinds of equipment from foot launch to trikes, and maybe even get a tandem ride to see if you think this sport is right for you. I'm gonna put the wing up where it gets nice and uh, wet. So here's a tip for you. On the last step of a successful launch, I pulled my quad muscle. Yeah? And I can't get up! <laughs> that meant I had to come in and land on that same muscle. So, before you launch, stretch your muscles. You'll save yourself a lot of pain and possibly a lot of downtime. Apparently Uncle Andy is about to take off. Uh, after about two hours of training, this is going to be interesting. How do you feel about flying for your first time in your life? Say so what? <laughs> we have been waiting for this moment for many, many days. He's about to take off. Eric is giving us a go away. Let's watch. Buddy Eric wants to try my wing out. I fly a 23 meter and he's used to a 25 meter. He'll be heavier loaded on my wing, which means he's gonna go faster. The wing will be more responsive, but he's gonna use more fuel. Man, that is one sexy freaking wing. He's just gonna do a foot drag. Whoa! Nice landing! Well done! <laughs> Oh, that was nice. So glad my wing made it. Uh, uh, Almost. Uh, uh. Will with this fancy light system. Finally, it's, it's happened to me. There's a neat way to fold your lines. So what are those orange and white stripes for in a windsock? The wind speed is indicated by where the bend in the sock is, and it ranges from 3.5 to 17 miles per hour. I apply that same logic to memorize my own wind indicator. When the tape is halfway extended, the wind is roughly 4 miles per hour. Fully extended, it's 8 miles per hour or more.
Well, that's it, guys. That's just the tip, too. I hope you got something out of it. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to know when my next video drops, please subscribe and <laughs> hit that little bell notification. It'll send you a reminder. So until next time, ciao.